Let's get right to Brooke Griffin. She's on the scene of that fire that happened this morning in Mystic. She joins us now live. Uh, what can you tell us? Well, this morning we can see that Mystic Seaport Marine, which is here at Washington Street, this has absolutely been devastated early late last night and then early this morning. I did just get the chance to speak with the Mystic Fire Chief. He's also the fire marshal as well. He said right before nine o'clock last night, they did get quite a few calls of different flames and smoke here in this area. Now they say that whenever they got here, they saw that the front of the building was on fire fire first. This is a building that has a couple of different businesses in it. They say it is part of the Seaport Marine building. They say Prestige Boat Sales is also inside along with a few other businesses. He says there has been some turnover in this building recently, so they're not sure exactly which buildings were impacted, but they say it was a couple of different businesses within one larger building in the Seaport Marine area. They say that it was a four alarm fire and they had several trucks, a lot of ladder trucks, different engines a couple tankers as well. They put their boat in the water so that they could pump the water directly out of the uh, out of the river here and then spray it onto the fire. They said that it was too dangerous for their firefighters to actually fight it inside, so they had to attack it from the outside area. They did evacuate this entire block just to make sure that everybody stayed safe. Unfortunately, that fire that was wind driven, like you guys mentioned, that was blown across the street to one of the homes here. They did tell us that there is a man that lives inside with a pet and that man did smell the smoke immediately and then was able to get out of the house. So he was not injured. He said that the pet was also able to get out as well. Now they say that the big thing at this point is just trying to figure out where to go with this investigation. This is obviously a massive effort that they're having to deal with. This is something they say is going to take at the very least all day as they try to comb through this metal and all of this rubble. They say there were propane tanks even inside this so that there were a lot of explosions, a lot of different flames and a lot of different fire coming from this. But they say now it's about cleaning up. It's about investigating and trying to figure out what exactly happened here last night. Live in Mystic, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61 News.